Hello and welcome back everyone to this Learn Parley tutorial. In this tutorial we're just going to take a look at the new Digital Parley Dictionary and how to install it. So this is the dictionary here and the first thing to note is that it uses an app called the Golden Dictionary. Now I'm going to show you how to download that and install it in a minute but first let's look at the dictionary. Uh, it's actually loaded here already so what we can do is we can either type or cut and paste a Pali word into the lookup here and click on the entry and that brings up um, the dictionary entry giving us the different meanings of the words and you can see here with Dharma it's actually got quite a few different meanings. Now with each of these entries if we click on the tab here you can look at the grammatical makeup of the word and here you can see it's masculine and how it's derived and you can also look at the declension there's a, a declension table comes up and if we're clever we can use control F and then perform a search and that will identify the actual declined form now there are two things which make this dictionary very powerful. The first is just the coverage of the dictionary. It, uh, it recognizes over a million unique Pali words. And the other thing is that these words have all their inflected forms uh, listed in the dictionary. So it's no longer necessary now to strip off the ending and try and find the, the stem word in order to find the dictionary entry. You can literally just type a Pali word in. Here I'm using uh, uh, diacritic marks, but uh, you don't have to. The dictionary will find it by itself. Click on that. It brings up the base word. Now, I often use uh, setting as a test because as well as it's a normal uh, form, it's, it's noun form, uh, which means mindfulness, it's also uh, a declined form of the uh, verb root as, meaning to be. And here we can see this dictionary actually identifies that and says it's a present participle of the verb uh, meaning to be or to exist. And again, if we go onto the, the declension table and press Control F, it actually identifies that as being a, a feminine accusative which as far as I know this is unique to any Pali dictionary and it makes it so powerful uh, I can't express that it is so useful if we now look at the other tabs here well this one gives examples uh, from the suttas and there are references given here and the other is the uh, root family which gives you various other forms of the word in terms of its participle nature or maybe its optative or imperative uh, forms. There's also a list of compounds or idioms which the word can, uh, is commonly found in. And there's also a frequency table or heat map indicating just where in the Tipitaka the word can be found. Now I'm quite old school and I tend to use cut and paste or direct typing in but it is possible to set up a hotkey uh, for the Golden Dictionary where you can highlight a word and then press the hotkey combination and the Golden Dictionary tab opens up with that word entry. And in order to do this we go to the Edit Preferences uh, tab and we go to the Scan pop-up and we enable the Scan pop-up functionality and I send it to the main window and in the hotkeys I have here Control C twice set up as my hotkey. Uh, so what this means is if we uh, use something like the Digital Parley Reader um, you can uh, select a word and then pressing Control C twice brings up the Golden Dictionary with that entry uh, and it's very useful as well for compound words here uh, giving you the meaning of the compound and detailed instructions for this can be found on the Digital Pali Dictionary's uh, main web page and there's a link to this down in the description below 
uh, but now let's look at how to install it. So we can see that there are various platforms on which it can be installed. I'm going to look at the Windows because that's what I'm running. And the first thing to do is to actually uh, download the dictionary itself. And we can do that through this link here. Uh, we'll open that in a new tab. And what we're interested in is this zip file here. So you download that. I'm going to save it and put that in my downloads area. And that's showing that it's downloading. Now this might take some time. So while we're waiting for that to finish, if we go back to the uh, install instructions, we then need to install version 1.5 of Golden Dictionary. So if we open that link up, Now this brings us to the uh, SourceForge page and it's important to download it from this page and not from the Golden Dictionary website because that's an older version. Now as you can see just clicking the link will download the file for you automatically. It's just a matter of waiting. So we've now got both files downloading. So now they have finished downloading. And here in my download area, you can see the two files, the uh, Digital Parlor Dictionary zip file and Golden Dictionary. I've also made a, an empty folder here so that we can extract the Digital Parlor Dictionary into that. And if you do extract all and then navigate to that folder and extract into there. So if we look in there, we've now got a folder in here called the DPD. And in there, we've got various files. Now, I've already got the Golden Dictionary installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. But if we go back to the installation page on the, uh, the Digital Parlor Dictionary website, it actually gives you detailed instructions to follow on installing the, uh, the Golden Dictionary. So it's just a matter of following uh, what you're told to do. Now, once you've installed and got the Golden Dictionary running, you have to load in the Digital Parlor Dictionary into it. So there we go to Edit and Dictionaries. And then we do Add and navigate to the place that you uh, store the dictionary. And then you select that folder and tick the recursive box and press OK. I've actually got two versions loaded now, so I'll just disconnect that one. And you have to wait a little while whilst the dictionary is indexing. And there you have it. We're back with the Digital Parlor Dictionary loaded into the Golden Dictionary app and uh, you can use it as I explained previously. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe or tick the like box if you enjoyed this video, and feel free to enjoy my other Parley tutorials.